The Photos app info window will display important details and data about a photo. To open the info window, just click the info button up here or use the shortcut command I. With the info window open, it's going to show details for the image or images currently selected in the library or the currently expanded photo or video. With this image selected, let's look at this top section of the info window. First, we have an Add Title field. Click in here, and we can enter our own custom title for this image. Notice that currently in the library, the file name is displayed under its thumbnail. When I enter a title, that's going to take its place. The original file name will always be visible from here in the info window. In the upper right is a Favorite button. Click to favorite the selected image or images. If the selected item is already a favorite, the icon is going to be solid gray. In the next section is all the camera, lens, and capture information that was added to the photo or video when it was taken. This will include the camera, or in this case, the iPhone model, as well as the file type, size, and resolution. As I scroll back through my library, and select different images, we can see the various cameras that I've used over the years. We are also presented with the shutter speed, aperture, and ISO for each shot. Next, we can add a caption and keywords. Captions replaced descriptions a few years ago. This is simply a good area to add more details about a photo if you want to. Keywords are very helpful with library management and organization. We'll be covering keywords in their own lesson later on. In the lower part of the info window, you're going to see the location where the photo or video was taken. This is only going to appear here if the camera automatically added the location data, as any iPhone will, or if the location information was added manually. We'll see how that's done in the Places lesson. We'll be using the info window through the rest of the tutorial to add and view photo information.